very happy that uh, CSIR is also proactively working uh, to find out uh, COVID-19 <coughs> solutions. You are all aware that we are in the midst of a COVID pandemic and over 210 countries of the whole world have got adversely affected. Millions of people have got, <laughs> means at least more than a million people have now got affected by the disease and at least uh, over a lakh of people have uh, succumbed to the COVID-19 uh, virus in the whole world. Fortunately, as you are aware that in India, we were the first in the whole world to respond to this news. We got the news about coronavirus on 7th of January when China had reported the presence of this coronavirus in cases of pneumonia that were reported in China. And that was the first time when India and the whole world came to know about it and the World Health Organization also came to know about it. So just for the background, we were the first in the whole world to respond to this uh, epidemic on uh, uh, at the, it's, a, it's a pandemic now declared by the WHO on 8th of January. And by 17th of January, we had informed the whole country, all the health ministries of all the states about the steps they need to take about the health preparedness. And then it's a long story when we started our screening at airports, we started our screening at the land borders with Nepal and then our screening at the ship ports also started the exercises, uh, exercise of uh, developing our labs for the detection of the virus uh, from one NIV Pune to over 200 labs in the country right now and further a very elaborate uh, uh, plan to expand many more labs. Um, we have already done over uh, almost, uh, we are reaching the figure of uh, 2 lakh tests uh, very soon, maybe in a day or two. Uh, maybe by tomorrow, uh, you will have a figure which is uh, over 2 lakhs uh, tests. I am happy that uh, 14 CSIR labs are also participating in this activity of uh, 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 testing the uh, um, uh, swab samples of uh, our suspected COVID patients and uh, I am also happy that uh, CSIR as uh, uh, ever has uh, risen to the occasion and uh, it's uh, not only in one field that but you have also got into ensuring that we uh, put in our uh, best foot forward to put the might and the intellectual acumen of all our scientists in all the CSIR labs and of course in DST and uh, biotechnology also uh, to ensure that there is a very significant contribution from the scientists to find out COVID-19 solutions well in time. And uh, it's not only uh, about the testing of the samples in the various laboratories, but also about uh, digital and molecular surveillance and then also uh, finding out rapid and uh, uh, economical uh, diagnostics, also about uh, uh, discovery of new drugs, also about repurposing of drugs and associated production processes. I know the uh, Hyderabad uh, people are all uh, into this. Then also uh, uh, hospital assistive uh, devices and uh, mm -hmm. personal protective equipments. Uh, we know that there was a huge uh, issue with the personal protective equipment there also our uh, CSIR labs have risen to the occasion and then of course uh, the uh, supply chain logistics and the support systems for that. So it's, it's in many fields that you have all uh, uh, been working. We'll have a discussion about that and I'm very happy to know uh, that uh, mm, 
Uh, our, uh, I think, uh, CSIR, CCMB and other lab uh, some other laboratories are, have also started doing the genetic sequencing of the virus. And they have a target of doing some uh, 500 sequencings in the coming uh, uh, weeks. I am uh, reminded of the uh, uh, last few years of the polio eradication movement, which I had the privilege to dream about uh, 26 years back. And uh, when we were in the towards the fag end of the eradication movement, then there used to be a very, very active uh, surveillance process in the country to find out uh, cases of acute flaccid paralysis. And when the cases of acute flaccid paralysis anywhere in the country was found, then the surveillance officers would run with their stool samples and immediately we would, uh, uh, even before, report, uh, before waiting for the report, we would uh, immunize uh, a few hundred children uh, around that area. Uh, and then, of course, after finding that this was uh, due to a polio virus, then it used to be one, one to five million children used to be immunized around that area. And when, then this genetic sequencing at that stage used to help us in a big way in tracing the, because the country was in the final stages of eradication. And if we get a uh, virus anywhere in the country, so it was very essential that from where did this virus arrive in the community. So that was the time when, uh, for the first time, uh, as a doctor um, who used to work for the World Health Organization, I, I could appreciate the importance of uh, genetic sequencing. So I have been told that uh, we have already, we are trying to establish the relationship with the, we are already, we have got some countries uh, in the world where they have put in public domain uh, the genetic sequencing of the virus uh, uh, which affected China, America, Malaysia and many other countries I have been told and then we are trying to match if uh, the virulence or the characters of the virus have changed over the course of the last uh, uh, three months. So this is all, I think, uh, uh, good news for me. I'm also happy that uh, CSIR is also uh, actively, it has started the process of, as usual, partnering with uh, uh, major industries and PSUs and uh, also MSMEs. So that's a, uh, another uh, good news. You are also working on these RT-PCR machines, uh, how you can, uh, we can uh, maybe scale up or maybe contribute to their availability in uh, whatever form we can. Also, there is so much of uh, now discussion in the West about the uh, plasma-based therapies because those uh, patients who have got cured from uh, COVID, uh, it is uh, it is getting slowly established or maybe it sits in the stage of uh, studies now that if we, uh, uh, you can say, motivate them to donate uh, their blood and uh, if we extract plasma and if we use it for our uh, very sick patients of COVID-19, it is likely to uh, uh, give significant uh, uh, dividends for us. I have also been told that uh, hmm, um, NAL has also started working on some uh, uh, of these uh, uh, ventilators uh, uh, for uh, mild to moderate cases with uh, BiPAP design and uh, also where we, you, we can, uh, uh, all they, they are also working on these oxygen concentrators, etc. So I think all these things are going to help us in a big way over the course of the uh, next uh, few um, uh, weeks. But I would only uh, request, uh, uh, I will hear all of you and I am uh, so happy that you are all doing this and uh, uh, so uh, proud of my CSIR people. But the the issue that I want to flag is that we are running against time. No doubt that what you do today, it may not, uh, it, it may help us in the future, but we want that 
uh, everything that you do, it should be uh, kept with the, uh, with a definite time frame in mind. Even if we have to produce these uh, uh, cheaper and rapid uh, diagnostic kits, etc. So, whatever we do, keep the uh, fact in mind that uh, we are in the midst of a war. And uh, if you uh, deliver the weapons after the war is over or if the war has uh, in fact uh, uh, caused uh, considerable damage to all of us, I think uh, that may be uh, uh, a little uh, too late. So as we have started early, we must finish early also. It is not like our routine CSIR research for big subjects where we take months and years to actually uh, produce a result and then we uh, go to the uh, uh, industry to uh, take up our uh, technology and then the industry helps us in delivering that technology to the people. So all the uh, you see verticals of this whole uh, game. Uh, they all have to be and all the uh, facets have to be dealt with simultaneously. And I am sure that the uh, DGCSIR in uh, close coordination and regular uh, interaction with all the directors of CSIR laboratories must be taking a note of this particular fact and uh, we are looking forward to a very uh, mm, I would say uh, a significant uh, uh, perceptible, measurable, visible, visible and really uh, uh, people uh, friendly and uh, effective from people's perspective contribution from CSIR. So with this uh, I think uh, preliminary uh, comments uh, uh, for a long time I, I finished one round of all the CSIR labs and in some of these places I have gone twice, thrice but maybe after all this crisis is over and we, we uh, settle down in the uh, health ministry, I'll start another round of the CSIR labs uh, maybe in the uh, uh, later part of this year and then uh, take one year to complete one full round once again. By that time you should all be prepared about uh, what is our uh, plan for the next five years and what we could actually achieve in the last five years under Prime Minister Narendra Modi because Prime Minister Narendra Modi is very passionate about science, you know, he is very passionate about CSIR, he has a lot of hopes from CSIR and he has always been emphasizing that CSIR should uh, actually produce uh, <coughs> uh, technologies which will help the people, people-centric technologies. Not what we want to do as research, but what the people need as research outcome. That is what the focus has to be. I am sure you are all in that field. Uh, I, I know that uh, for uh, uh, drug discovery, our uh, Dr. Chan Shekhar in uh, hmm, Hyderabad has already done a lot about these uh, drugs, etc. Maybe other laboratories, uh, they can... Uh, or CDRI in uh, Lucknow can also start something about this. So right now we don't have a um, drug, specific drug, we don't have a, a specific vaccine and uh, uh, we are uh, like we were short of uh, these ventilators, we were short of these uh, personal protective equipments. But whole thing has come as a blessing in disguise also for the country that those things which we were uh, sort of importing uh, now, uh, as on today, we have for PPE is almost uh, over, uh, around uh, 40 manufacturers in the country. So maybe later on, uh, post-COVID also, we may not require any uh, help from any other country uh, across the world. Drugs, you, we all know that we are already uh, taking care of our demands. We are uh, helping even big developed nations like America for relevant drugs and more particularly for hydroxy, chloroquine, etc. But uh, the, as a uh, health minister, I have to give you an advice that and this message should be propagated through all the laboratories, through all our uh, clients, through all possible sources of, uh, hmm, you see, communication, uh, social media and uh, that right now, till the time we are not able to uh, discover a vaccine for COVID-19 patients. 
द मोस्ट पोर्टेंट सोशल वैक्सीन फॉर दिस होल कंट्री एंड द होल वर्ल्ड इज सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग एंड एट द प्रजेंट मोमेंट द लॉकडाउन इन द कंट्री सो द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग एंड लॉकडाउन दे रिमेन द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट सोशल वैक्सीन सो वी शुड यूज सोशल वैक्सीन एंड हैव फेथ इन द पावर ऑफ सोशल वैक्सीन बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग विच हैज हेल्प अस टू गिव गुड रिजल्ट एंड इन ए कंट्री ऑफ वन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव बिलियन वी हैव वी हैव यू सी प्रति सिग्निफिकेंट कंट्रोल ओवर द disease we are not uh, allowing it to flourish in a way which the whole world has been suffering right now we are much better much 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 better than all the rest of the countries in the whole world and in the whole world our uh, uh, patients who are getting affected is the number is uh, minimum that that's the lowest in the whole world and uh, in a for 1 million population only 3.2 people have got uh, covid 19 and there too we know that uh, 80% of them have only mild or uh, uh, mild symptoms they are asymptomatic they get cured uh, even without significant help it's only about 15 20% which would require a bit of good quality hospitalization with oxygen support and and a very few uh, patients uh, would require ventilator so there also i know that you are also helping in production of these oxygen concentrators and ventilators etc you are already on the path to discover new drugs and uh, uh, the various molecules and then also uh, as uh, many other countries we have already isolated the virus and we are india is now part of the um, uh, who solidarity trial for uh, producing a vaccine uh, so uh, i think uh, we are well on track uh, the science ministries are also helping uh, me and my ministry that's a ministry of health that is also my ministry that is also your ministry health ministry is also your ministry so we have to together stand up and remain uh, you see uh, activated proactively contribute very very significantly in our fight against covid 19